The following episode is being brought to you by AudibleKids.com. Exercise your mind with a free audiobook download for kids of all ages at www.audiblekids.com slash Dr. Floyd. That's D-R-F-L-O-Y-D. Do it today. Well, hello, everybody. It's Dr. Grant from the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd, and welcome to another edition of Dr. Grant's Joke Jamboree. We've had a lot of Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd fans call 818-332-3053 and then press option three and leave us some hilarious jokes. So let's not waste one second more. Let's, well, no, actually, let's waste one more second. There we go. And let's get to the first joke. Here it is. Hi, my name is Davi, and I'm from Irvine, California. And here's my joke. What's black and white and red all over? A newspaper. Get it? Thank you. Bye. (laughs) Uh, Nothing like starting the show off with a classic. Thanks, Davi. That was a great joke. Okay, without any further ado, we... Well, let's have a little bit more ado. All right, there we go. Here's the next joke. Hey, Dr. Grant, this is Sarah and Joe Michael Weber from St. Louis, Missouri, and we have a joke for you. What do you call a row of rabbits walking backwards? A receding hairline. Thanks. Bye. (laughs) A receding hairline. Sarah and John Michael, that was fantastic. Thanks for calling it in. And uh, kids, if you don't know what a receding hairline is, just go ask your dad, and I'm sure he, well, you maybe better not want to ask your dad. Ask your mom. She'll tell you. All right, without wasting a moment more here, well, let's waste one more moment. There we go. Here's the next joke. Hi, my name's Yon. I'm from Irvine, California, and here's my joke. Knock, knock. Oh, goody, a knock, knock joke. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in, lettuce in. It's called outside. (laughs) Thank you. Bye. (laughs) Yoni, fantastic knock, knock joke. Thank you so much for calling it in. All right, folks, now without any further hesitation, well, maybe just a little bit more hesitation. There we go. Here is the next joke. Hi, I'm Jacob. And I live in California. It's my joke. Why did the computer go to the doctor? It had a virus. <coughs> oh, the poor little computer. <laughs> Jacob, I love that joke. Thank you so much for calling it in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have talked long enough. I Well, maybe I should talk a little bit more. Hi, how are you? Is your day going good? Or, all right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the next joke. Hi, I'm Elena. I'm nine, and I'm calling from Stoke. Here is a funny joke. Do you know how you get a tissue to dance? You put a little boogie in it. Bye. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Dance, little tissue. Oh, Elena, that was a fantastic joke. Thank you so much for calling it in. All right, well, let's get to the next one. No more bantering about, well, okay, maybe a little bit more bantering. Um, because that's bantering, I guess. Oh, uh, here's the next joke. Hi, this is Sherry from Avon, Ohio, and the joke is, what do you call a tired skeleton? A lazy bones. <laughs> See ya. Ah, Sherry, that was a great joke. Thank you so much for calling it in. See, kids, adults know some pretty great jokes, too. All you gotta do is ask them. All right, without any more beating around the bush, let's... Okay, hold on, a little bit more beating around the bush. Thank you very much. Uh, It's time for our next joke, and uh, this joke we have a very special guest for. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome everyone's favorite sock-shaped assistant, Fidget! Hey, Fidget, it's great to have you here. We had a joke come in just for you. Uh Uh-huh, you want to hear it? Okay, here it is. Hi, this is Sam, and I'm from Danville, California. And I have a joke. What is Fidger's favorite historical character? Give up, (laughs) Sacagawea. Oh, that was a good one. Thanks, Sam. 
Oh. Hey, Fidger, do you have to leave or can you stay with us till the end of the show? Oh, I don't know. All right, well then let's cut to the chase and... Uh, here's the next joke. Why are we not? Uh, that was the chase. Hello, this is Michaela Chamberlain, and I have a really great joke. Knock, knock. Ooh, another knock, knock joke. You take this one, Fidgert. Oh, yeah. Why did a chicken cross the road? Because the koala bear was climbing the tree up to catch a princess who was eating a coconut for panda bear. Goodbye. I like the show. Goodbye. Oh, um, Yep, sometimes the calls are like that. Oh, Well, hey, Fidget, it's time for Dr. Grant's joke of the show. You want to do the intro for me? Good job, good job. Hi, this is Grace from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and I have a joke. What did one elevator say to the other? Give up? I think I'm coming down with something. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that one. Grace, thank you so much for calling in that joke. And that'll wrap it up for another edition of Dr. Grant's Joke Jamboree. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have a joke that you'd like to hear on the show, just call 818-332-3053 and press option 3 to tell us your joke. Remember, we only play family-friendly jokes on the show. And uh, that's about it. Got anything else to say, Fidgert? Um, no. All right. Well, we'll see you later, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. This episode is being brought to you by AudibleKids.com. Bring the whole family together with an audiobook download from AudibleKids.com. Yes, friends, a great way to extend the learning from recent episodes of The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd is by downloading the featured book at AudibleKids.com. A few simple clicks is all it takes to turn your MP3 player into a take-it-with-you-anywhere learning tool that is sure to spark the imagination. And with over 4,000 titles from over 75 publishers, including 500-plus titles that have never been digitally available before, it only makes sense to head on over to audiblekids.com and download an audiobook today. But now, and here's the best part of all, for a limited time, you can get an audiobook download absolutely free. No box tops or seals or anything like that. Here's all you do. Just have mother or dad help you surf on over to www.audiblekids.com slash Dr. Floyd and download your free audiobook. No credit card is required, and this offer is open to both new and existing Audible.com customers. So hurry now. Head on over to www.audiblekids.com slash Dr. Floyd, and that's D-R-F-L-O-Y-D, and download your free audiobook tonight. It's all thanks to audiblekids.com, bringing families together one audiobook at a time. Clear the airwaves! Clear the airwaves! It's now time for Dr. Floyd's Imagination Nation Rangers secret message for you members of the Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation. Remember, kids, only official radio adventures of Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation Rangers can decode Dr. Floyd's secret message with the secret decoder ring available only from www.imaginationranger.com. All right, grab your secret decoder rings and a pencil and paper and prepare to set your imagination to fun. Remember, Dr. Floyd is counting on you. And here is the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation Ranger secret message for Dr. Grant's Joke Jamboree number five. This is the answer to the riddle that Dr. Grant has posted in the Imagination Nation Ranger forums. Twelve. One. Three. Seventeen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 
And that was a message from Dr. Floyd himself to all his Imagination Nation Rangers. You can join Dr. Floyd's Imagination Nation and become an Imagination Nation Ranger only at www.imaginationranger.com. And until next time, set your imagination to fun! Don't just sit there. You're under strict orders to go to www.perary.com. Hip.